hello everyone here in this video we are going to discuss uh, regarding one problem um, which will be solved using wrong equator method of order 4 okay uh, the question is using wrong equator method of order 4 solve dy dx equals to y square minus x square all divided by y square plus x square with y 0 equals to 1 at x equals to 0 0.2 and x equals to 0 0.4 now before going to solve this problem uh, let us first um, go to the wrong equator method of fourth order first um, and check very quickly what is that okay uh, now going to this wrong equator method of fourth order it is actually a numerical technique to solve ordinary differential equation of the form dy dx equals to fxy where y x0 equals to y0 and where we have to find y of xn xn is any value of x right now here um, we have to consider one thing that is the difference between two consecutive instances of x so and that will be termed as h h is equals to xi plus 1 minus xi that is the difference between x um, uh, 0 and x1 x1 and x2 x3 x2 and x3 and so on so xi plus 1 will become from this equation xi plus 1 will become xi plus h similarly for if we put i equals to 0 it will become xi x1 equals to x0 plus h so x2 will be x1 plus h plus x1 plus h okay uh, and it is equals to x0 plus 2h how because if we put the value of x1 x1 the value of x1 is x0 plus h and plus h will become x0 plus 2h similarly x3 equals to x2 plus h equals to x0 plus 3h and by this way you can find any values of x um, x any instances of x like up to n okay n can be any value any finite value okay it depends on the uh, how many uh, values we have to calculate uh, it depends on the question okay uh, and this uh, remember this value of h can be given in the question or it may not be given in the question okay like in this example what we have got no value of h is given so the value of h should be calculated right now before that let's check what is wrong equator method of order 4 uh, the formula of wrong equator method of order 4 is given like this y n plus 1 equals to y n plus 1 by 6 k 1 plus 2 k 2 plus 2 k 3 plus k 4 uh, and what are these k 1 k 2 k 3 k 4 k 1 is the slope at the beginning of the interval using y okay k2 is the slope at the midpoint of the interval and k3 is again slope at the midpoint but now using y and k2 and k4 is the slope at the end of the interval using y and k3 okay right now if we derive the values now we can check this graph actually I am showing you this picture from Wikipedia uh, you can easily understand what are the values of k1 k2 k3 and k4 okay right now coming to the calculation of k1 k2 k3 k4 k1 equals to h f x n y n k2 equals to h f of x n plus h by 2 comma y n plus k1 by 2 k3 equals to h f x n plus h by 2 y n plus k2 by 2 and k4 is h f it should be x n okay x n x n plus h comma y n plus k3 right so one thing you have to check k2's value can be derived from k1 k3's value can be derived from k2 and k4's value can be derived from k3 right 
so as a whole wrong equal method of order 4 looks uh, like this okay uh, now uh, it is easy to derive uh, the solution of yn plus 1 if we know uh, yn and if we can derive all the other values of k1 k2 k3 and k4 by using these formulas okay so by using this formula we have to solve the given question right now coming to the question again uh, using wrong ekuta method of order 4 solve dy dx equals to y square minus x square by y square plus x square with y equals to 0 at x equals to 0 0.2 and x equals to 0 0.4 okay now uh, if you look at this problem uh, you can see that h is not given here right the step function h is not given here so we have to assume the um, or the, uh, we have to calculate the value of h okay now we can take the value of h as 0 0.2 minus 0 if we consider this x as x1 and this x as x2 then this will be considered and this will be considered as x0 okay so this 0 0.2 minus 0 is 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2 is also 0 0.2 so we can take h as 0 0.2 and it requires two steps to solve the problem now we can take uh, the value smaller for h like h equals to 0 0.1 it requires four steps uh, how this will happen uh, let's see this uh, if this one is a value of x1 right 0 0.2 and this is 0 is a value of x0 x if we consider this as x2 so x2 is 0 0.4 minus 0 point and x3 is x1 is 0 0.2 now for this um, uh, let us write this x1 x0 this one is um, x2 and x1 right <coughs> so this is the value of h now this is 0 0.2 as well as here also x2 minus x1 is 0 0.2 okay now if 0 0.2 if we consider this as the value of h then 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 means this difference divided by the value of 0. Point, uh, value of h it will be 1 so it needs one step to solve uh, the problem for y x1 okay again this is also 0 0.2 the difference between these two and 0 0.2 divided by this h is also 1 so it is 1 it requires 1 step so 1 plus 1 total 2 steps are required if we consider the value of h is 0 0.2 but if we consider the value of h is 0 0.1 then the difference of this x1 and x0 0, 0 0.2 divided by the value of h 0 0.1 is 2 so it need 2 steps to solve the problem again here 0 0.2 divided by the value of h 0 0.1 equals to two steps so two plus two it needs four steps okay and making h smaller will increase the number of steps so i will suggest you uh, in time of exam if um, you have limited time you go for h equals to for this problem you should go for h equals to 0 0.2 as it requires uh, less time okay uh, otherwise uh, the solution will be uh, very lengthy right so now, so now coming back to the uh, problem uh, solution of the problem here if xy is given as dy dx equals to y square minus x square by y square plus x square y0 equals to y x0 y of x0 equals to 1 x equals to 0 0.2 x equals to 0 0.4 now here taking h equals to 0 0.2 as i said earlier x1 equals to x0 plus h that is 0 0.2 and um, for this 0 0.2 the value of x1 is 0 0.2 we'll get the value of y 0 0.2 that is our first question 
so it is y1 and we have to find it we, we have to find the value of y1 similarly x2 will be equals to x1 plus h it will be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 so that will become 0 0.4 again we have to find the value of y y of 0 0.4 so that will be our y2 as per our question right so if we can find both these values we can solve this problem now uh, by Ronge-Kutta method of order 4 we know that yn plus 1 equals to yn plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 this is our equation 1 where k1 equals to uh, from the formula k1 equals to hf xn yn k2 equals to hf of xn plus h by 2 yn plus k1 by 2 uh, k3 equals to hf xn plus h by 2 yn plus k2 by 2 and k4 is hf of xn plus h yn plus k3 right so k2's value can be derived from K k1 k3's value can be derived from k2 and k4's value can be derived from k3 right now putting n equals to 0 in equation 1 we'll get y1 equals to y0 plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus 2k4 right now we have to find the value we we know the value of y0 and we have to derive the values of uh, k1 k2 k3 and k4 let's see how we can calculate just put the formula k1 equals to h f put n equals to 0 here so it will become x0 y0 and x0 y0 that means y0 square minus x0 square y0 square plus divided by y0 square plus x0 square how this formula is already given okay now uh, 0 0.2 into this 0 0.2 is the value of h so if we calculate we will get the value as 0 0.2 now k2 is h f of x0 plus h by 2 if we put the value of n as 0 and y0 plus k1 by 2 right x0 h y0 k1 all these values we are um, we already know okay also h we know so putting all the values we'll get um, after calculation 0 0.19672 right again k3 for k3 uh, it is equals to h a f x0 plus h by 2 x0 plus h by 2 and y0 plus k2 by 2 see right again we know all these values h x0 h y0 and k2 we have just got the value after calculation so putting all these values into these functions um, we'll get 0 0.1967 right 1967 you can use your calculator uh, there is no harm okay in this and um, so by this way we'll get the value of k4 as h a big 0 plus h and y0 plus k3 putting n equals to 0 and we'll get the value as 0 0.1891 so all these four values of uh, uh, k1 k2 k3 and k4 respectively we have calculated in this portion and next uh, from equation 2 this is our equation 2 will uh, get the value of y1 by putting all these values of y0 k1 k2 k3 and k4 okay so after calculation we'll get y1 equals to y0.2 equals to 1.19599 approximately uh, which is equals to 1.196 okay one thing you should remember that if in the question it is asked that um, you have to calculate the value up to three decimal point or four decimal point then your answer should be like that accordingly like uh, if three days up to three decimal point you have to calculate then it will be uh, 1.196 right and uh, if it is not 
asked in the question that how many decimal points you have to calculate up to how many decimal points you have to calculate the value then it is up to you that how many decimal points um, you will uh, show as your answer right okay now uh, this is our step one and by this step one we have already calculated the value of y is 0 0.2 okay that is our first answer so this one is our first answer right 1.196 now for the second step for this second step uh, mm, sorry this one y is uh, 0 0.2 equals y2 uh, putting n equals to 1 in the equation 1 if we put n equals to 1 it will become a y2 and this will become y1 right so y2 is y0.4 equals y1 plus 1 by 6 of k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 right where k1 equals to hf x1 y1 from the formula k1 equals to hf x and y n so putting n equals to 1 we will get hf x1 y1 and here k2 will be hf x1 h by 2 y1 k1 by 2 k3 will be hf x1 plus h by 2 y1 plus k2 by 2 and k4 will be hf x1 plus h y1 plus k3 okay now coming back to the calculation uh, so k1 is hf x1 y1 0 0.2 f of 0 0.2 comma 1.196 we have derived value of this y2 right sorry uh, uh, derived the value of y1 this is 1.196 okay and we already know the value of x1 that is 0 0.2 so after calculation we will get 0 0.1891 similarly for k2 after calculation we will get the value as 0 0.1795 for k3 will get the value of um, value of k3 as 0 0.1793 putting all the values of x1 h y1 k2 and h again for k4 uh, h x1 h y1 k3 or if we put all the values k3 we have just calculated so we will get the answer as 0 0.1688 for uh, the value of k4 okay now if we put all these values in equation 3 so we will get the value of y2 as we know the value of y1 and we have derived already the values of k1 k2 k3 k4 it will be looking like this y2 equals to y 0 0.4 equals to y1 plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 so putting all these values we will get the answer as 1 y 0 0.4 equals to y2 equals to 1.3752 okay and this will be our step 2 and after step 2 we will got the answer of y2 right and uh, in step 1 we have got the answer of y1 okay so this is the solution for the given um, uh, ODE using Ronge Kuta method of order 4. Okay, so we have already derived the values of y1 and y2. Hope you have understood this problem uh, and also you have understood the Ronge Kuta fourth order method. Now, if you have any query, you can comment in the comment section. I will try my level best to answer all these questions. Uh, and um, please do subscribe the channel for getting more videos and notification. Okay. Thank you.